Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all having a great day. Well, today as you can see, we are going to be starting the stained glass Siamese cat. And we're going to start in the upper right hand corner. And the color that I'm starting with is 996. It's that beautiful turquoise color. Let me show you. Isn't that beautiful? Just gorgeous, gorgeous turquoise. Mm. And then we'll be going to another color. And when I start that color, I'll let you know. So, I hope you all had a good Easter. You had fun. I heard from my daughter. They went on uh, Saturday, so my granddaughter could go to the Easter egg hunt. I'm not sure why, but, you know, she's nine now. Please. But they went, and I guess some of her friends were going. You know, they, they have it up to fifth grade, I think, she, my daughter said. so. And it was a lovely day, so they got to go and do that. And... Yesterday, she said they were planning on hamburgers. She didn't know if they were going to get to go and do that, you know, outside or not. Because it was supposed to rain yesterday. It didn't. So, evidently, maybe they did. Unless it was way too windy. But it wasn't windy over here. And I live about, mm, we'll call it, three or four miles away from my daughter. They live up closer to the the bottom of the mountain. And sometimes they get worse weather than I do way over here. So, And it's not that way over here, you know. But, yeah. So, and I got my little butterfly. I'm trying to get everything off there. It's really stuck. Butterfly. Needle threader minder thingy. I think it goes this way. It's the same on both sides. But yeah, I thought it was beautiful. So we had to have it. But we're, it, the only other one I have that has an actual cat on it is the one with the cat and the fish. So, yay. So my cold didn't turn out to be a cold. Thank goodness. I don't know what was up with that. I mean, I sneeze. I must have sneezed 25, 30 times. And then I went to bed. And my nose was all stuffed up. I have no idea. I don't know if it was just being out there in the wind. Because I have no... I don't have hay fever or allergies or anything like that. The next day, I promptly made red chili... And had that twice. So maybe the cayenne just blew it all away. But yeah, didn't sneeze once yesterday. Not at all. On uh, Saturday. Nothing. I have no idea. It was the oddest dang thing I've ever seen. So... I'm just glad it wasn't a cold because, you know, I, I just don't have time for a cold. Not and the least. Whoops, I came up with the wrong side. My bad. So, no grand plans this week. We do have a floss tube on Tuesday, which is tomorrow, and there's a part two review for uh, Seven Great on Wednesday. Let's see. Other than that, I don't know if anything will show up. And Saturday, we'll start April, Animal April, <laughs> Saturday. <coughs> And, uh, I don't know what I'm going to work on. I was hoping to 
maybe do my dragon, one of them, one of the mini dragons that I have, because I have quite a few. I should really get them all in one area, but that never happens. But I do know where the rainbow dragon's at. I got it out and kept it out. I worked on uh, the Beast on Saturday and Sunday. Got a little more progress done with that. It was windy yesterday, just off and on. And then all of a sudden it's like a tornado and then nothing. <laughs> it's like, okay, make up your mind. So what else did I stitch on? Um, I worked on, I was working on the cat, the cat and the fish. You know which one, the little bitty one. And I thought, well, I'll put the red in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I put it all in the wrong place and the wrong symbol. So I may have to get it all out. Awesome. I worked on, what did I work on? Holy cow. Some days. I didn't get the uh, spring lady out and work on it. I just, my finger was killing me most of the weekend. So it's, it's on the mend. It's not red now. But yeah, it took four days for it to get better, shall we say. So I'm thrilled with that. So I can just keep stitching. But I did have to go to that. It's here. Oh, gosh. It's buried. Hang on. There'll be a moment. All right. I'm back. <coughs> so this is my box with all my little tape stuff. So I ended up using it on my finger as I stitch because, you know, if I use a smaller needle, it seems I just drive it right into it. Oh, there's them little things. I was looking for all them. So, yeah. We got those, too. I'm just gonna... I got this one. As, well, this is supposed to be a thread holder. It's kind of a useless little piece of art. I, it's heavy. It's not light in the least. So, I don't know. It's just decorative. I like it. I might give it to my granddaughter. She'd probably find it fascinating. She loves doodads. Oh, my goodness. But it's kind of heavy to put on anything lightweight. Yeah. So, I use that for most of my four days off. So, and it kept me from driving the needle into my finger. Holy cow. That just feels so swell, I'm telling you. Oh, seriously. I don't think we're going to make it. Nope. We'll just get us another thread. Hang on. Yeah, I couldn't decide whether I wanted to start this or the chickens because I really wanted to start the chickens too. So maybe later on, after I get home, we'll see how tired I am. You know how that goes. Just when you're planning to do something when you get home is when all hell breaks loose at work. Come on. I picked that up. That was like the wrong thing to do. All right. And they all got screwed up. So we'll start right here. So I have no idea what I'm going to be working on next week, just, or this week I should say. Of course we'll have soothing Sunday stitching. I hope you're all enjoying that. It, it, it's kind of a nice change of pace. I don't have to talk and it's just nice and quiet and listen to the music. I like listening to music, sitting in my rocking chair and and just stitching. It, it works out well for me. So I hope it works for y'all. I 
did get out this other color, but good God. Okay, you've just got to go. All right, get that out of my way. It's just hindering everything. I just can't stitch with that thing on. Sometimes I can, but some this canvas is a bit smaller than some of the others. Oh, yeah, that, that big one, speaking of smaller, mm, it's not small at all. It's, it's huge, and it's kind of kind of hard to work on but not too bad I mean if especially if I'm I can't do it in a chair in my you know stitchy chair what is going on here um because it's too wideish so it works really great on the couch because I got a mile on both sides get that out of the way but yeah it's okay I just have to take it kind of slower than I'd like I guess but it's stitching up just fine which I'm happy with it, it's not going to make any progress anytime too fastly even if it is a, a an 11 count. Okay. Good life. Go over there. So, yeah. A little bit at a time. And as somebody said, just stitch what is in front of you. Don't worry about the rest. It'll all come together. Alright. Let me get that other color out. I wanted to get it so that I could um, stitch that other color right next to it. That that was the plan. So let's just stick with the plan here. Isn't that a perfect blue? Look at that blue. It's so gorgeous. I love 996. Yeah. Whoop, let's get it into the thing. Now the second color is 38. Excuse me. 3842. And it's a little bit darker, as you can see. It's more of a, a teal than it is a turquoise. My hands are so slick. Just took a shower. I'll have to put some hand lotion on before I go to work. Oh, do come on, please. We'll start over here. But yeah, I think this will be gorgeous with all these colors. Blues and greens and the, the creamy brown color, if you will, of the, uh, the cat. I think it'll just pop right out of there. Come on. Don't give me no fits. I don't need fits today. So I'm expecting it to kind of be quiet today at work. Oh, that's awesome. <sighs> I haven't done that since I can't remember. The thread's on the bottom. Let's stitch on the top for a while. Yeah, not happening. I think the gremlins went around and got all of my clippies. Because there must be 25 of them sitting over here. It's great. Now they're oozing out of the, the little bowl. They were fine when they were like 10, but now there's more. Okay, let's try this from the right side. From the correct side, shall I say? So, what's everybody else working on? Oh, um, I have some pictures. I forgot, almost. Holy cow, I'm so with it. Mondays are not my best day. Um, I have some pictures from my friend Jill. And I will put them in right in here. 
Yeah, aren't those lovely? Just beautiful. She does such good work. I don't know if she, what do you call it, frames them or just keeps them or, or just what she does with them after she finishes them. But I'm sure they'll be lovely. Just beautiful work. Way to go, Jill. But if, So if you've got any kits that you've completed, just send me a picture. And they don't have to be FFO'd. Fully finished objects. They can just be the cross stitch itself. So no pressure there to get it in a frame or however you want to finish it. No. Oh, well, this color's going a lot better than the last color. So, just send me a picture. My email's below. And I will put pictures of it if you... If that's okay with you, I'll put the, share them with everybody in my Stitch With Me. Because I don't have a Facebook group or any place like that. I tried. That didn't go real well. I don't know what happened. I guess I'm just not bright enough to know how to put that all together because it was a little bit of a doing. So. Get it back. So you can actually see what is going on here. Oops. Nope. Yeah, Jill is going to have that uh, Mount Fuji jigsaw thing put jigsaw puzzle. Jeez, that's, say that three times. Um, done before I ever get it half done. Well, I had a little, what do you call it? A little delay if you will because I couldn't figure out what color to make the bridge other than what color that it already was and then there's the back stitching in that it it's not horrible we've had worse believe me may start in on the the cat the cat's right here whoops sorry the cat's right here there's their nose so this is like the bridge and then here's their eyes it's gonna be beautiful may start there too or work over there I should say we've already started Laura right here all right guys well, thank you for joining me today. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Like I said, send me your pictures of your your finished cross stitches. Like if you got something from me, you know, that's fine. If it's something totally different, that's fine as well. So let me see your fully finished objects. Because, you know, it might inspire me to finish something but I'm, I'm not sure. Never can tell with me. All right, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.